warm welcome to the Allianz Arena in Munich. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our expert, Jim Beglin. Well, thanks, Peter. There's a great sense of anticipation in this stadium, and I've been hit by it too. the whistle and here we go Schlupp ball swung in has a pop well he should have done better and he knows it well he couldn't have hit that any better any other time it would have sneaked in That's not the ball he wanted. Boots it upfield. Jordan Ayew can't hurt you with his back to goal, and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off, and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that, so I think they're defending him very, very well. Delicate ball. it out so it is still nil nil Joel Ward well that's where he wants it uh, the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance Ayu showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sorted out are you aimed long and direct face to face with the keeper Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Peter, I can tell you, that was nothing short of a cold-blooded execution. <laughs> Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Ball's gone out of play. Plays a clever pass. Knocks it towards the front. Good defending there, they've slammed the door in the faces of the opposition. To throw. And it's Ayu. Passes it through. And play for a throw. Yeah. 
Joel Ward. We hit half time. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1 0 at the break. That gets things going for the second half. Well, 1 0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. Floats one over. And out to safety. Surely! Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions and sometimes they just make the wrong one and I think he would have been better placing that. It's long and forward. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Promising cross. Away from immediate danger, gets it back, thrust towards the front line. Tries a through ball. Well read, he sorted that out. Well, what was required then was a little more patience, he didn't have to cross it so early. Keeps everyone guessing. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Aim forward. Ayu with the ball through. Long shell pass, that's the message there. Jim, what are you thinking? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Defence has got rid of that. it forward, defenders on the back foot, looking to force his way through, and they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Forward it goes. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Puts the big run in. Tries to get it forward quickly. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way.